Hey boys, it's Harm9. We're customizing the Volcar Nebula Turbo in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing is on sale this week, so I figured it was a good idea to customize it. So we're gonna hop inside. To start off with the armor, we are gonna go all the way up on that. The brakes as well, obviously we're gonna need some brakes on this thing. For the bumpers, we do have front and rear options. So let's take a look through all of these front bumper options. Um, the exposed intercooler is kind of interesting. Um, I kind of don't mind the rally fogs. Uh, the race fogs are okay too, but I think the rally fogs are kind of cool. So we're going to go for that. For the rear bumper, uh, we can just change it to primary. I guess we will just because it matches up with the front. So why not? For the engine, we are going to upgrade that all the way. The exhaust, uh, we do have a dual tip exhaust here. We got the tuner exhaust and the epic bean can. Um, well, obviously we're gonna go for the epic bean can because like, why wouldn't we, you know? Uh, we can sticker bomb the fenders if we want to. I'm not a super huge fan of that. For the grill, we can change it quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna go for the plain grill because kind of like that. For the hood, we got the carbon hood option. We got the sticker bomb hood, the rusty hood as well. The exposed turbo hood, I kind of like that. We got the twin turbo hood because drift car and no words needed. Um, Let's do the single exposed turbo hood. Uh, I feel like that's kind of cool, so we'll go for it. For the lights, we are going to go Xenon, obviously. For the livery, we do have, uh, we got one called the 70s Cold. That's sick. Nordic Racer. We have Geometric Camo, Razzle Dazzle, Roadkill. Oh my god. Keeping it real. Rusty Shark. Hawaiian Snow Rally. Okay, anyway, Steampunk. We got the Oodles of Doodles. Um, oh, okay. So, okay, we're going to go for the, the 70s called because I like how that actually looks. I feel like it's pretty cool. Louvers, we can add those onto the car if we want to. Let's go for some primary louvers. Why not? For the mud guards, uh, we can add them. I don't really... No, I don't really... Oh, I guess we can just make them... Okay, well, I guess it has them already. You know what? We're going to go for black louvers, actually, just to match up with the mud guards, I guess. Uh, for the plate, we are going to go yellow on black for sure. For the respray on the car, what color do we want to go for here? I feel like I feel like this in a Cabernet red might not look too bad. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. You can always change it after, so um, let's see. Cabernet red, primary and secondary. Looks kind of lethal. I don't know. I think, I think I like that. Or maybe a blue. Hang on, hang on. What about like a mariner blue? Ooh, mariner blue is kind of lethal too. We're going to go for that actually. I think, I think Mariner Blue just fits a little better with uh, the overall look. So we'll do that. Uh, for the roll cage, let's add one, I guess. Why not? Uh, for the roof, we got the weekend vacation, the large roof rack, the alpine rack, the stack of crap, and the junk trunk. Um, let's do the skis. It's kind of cool. I'm not really sure what this car is. <laughs> I don't know what this build is at all. Maybe I just shouldn't go for a roof rack. I think I probably shouldn't, but yeah, we're going to keep the skis. Why not? We can sticker bomb the trunk. Uh, we can carbon it. We can make it rusty. We can do a sports wing. Okay. You got the mid level wing as well. We also got the drift wing and the race wing. Um, I kind of like the race wing. What's the difference between it and the sports wing? There isn't. It's just one's cheaper. Okay. We're going for the sports wing then, I guess. Uh, suspension. Oh, wow. You can like slam this thing. Okay. Let's do that. Obviously, that looks sick, so we'll do that. Race transmission, got to have that. Turbo tuning, obviously, we're going to do that as well. Uh, for the wheels, you know what? I actually really like the stock wheels. Those are very, very unique looking. However, concave mega mesh would look kind of cool on this thing. Um, those are really low profile, though. I don't know that they like really fit the car. I feel like they definitely don't. So maybe we, maybe we don't go for those. I, I really like the stock rims, actually. Let's see, what else do we have here that we could put on? There's nothing that's really like standing out to me too, too much. I think I'm going to keep the stock wheels. I actually really like those. They say Volcar on them, which is kind of sick. Let's just keep them, I think. Um, I guess this is sort of like a drift build. Like, I actually don't even know what I did with this car. Um, I didn't really have a clear, a clear idea of what to do going into this. So I, I guess we'll tint the windows out and um, I don't know. This is just a confusing build now. I, I feel weird about this. Hold on, let's let's go back to the roof real quick. Let's take the skis off. Um, that is making it a little better. Um, so, okay, I'm, I'm happy enough with this. Let's take it down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a full review on the car. All right, it's time to see what the, uh, the bean can sounds like.
I'm not really sure what to think of that. Oh my god, it accelerates slowly. Oh. Okay, I I get it now. Okay, this is a drift car. That that makes that makes a lot of sense. I kind of I kind of knew that going in to be honest, but um the amount of wheel spin is like that really kind of gives it away. Um okay, so it's not going to be the review that I thought it was going to be. I thought this car was going to be um sort of like I don't know, handled a little better, but yo, this thing's sick at drifting. What? Hang on now. What? Dude, the Nebula Turbo is sick. What? I've never I've never driven this car before today. And I'm kind of regretting that. This thing actually drifts, like without having to do anything to it. Like it it just does. That's actually so sick. I wonder what it would be like without the spoiler. I feel like it'd almost drift better, but like maybe not. I mean, as far as the regular review goes, it's fast. It's like decently fast in a straight line. Um the handling even isn't like too like terrible it's not it's not good either it, it's definitely designed for drifting but it's not like that bad actually so that that is a good thing i guess obviously it's got lots of customization which is you know nice we uh we do like to customize cars on occasion so you know it's it's good to be able to um now the nebula turbo i mean like it's kind of hard for me to do a regular review on this car because it definitely doesn't handle as well as like I would expect like other cars to handle but I, I understand that this is a drift car so kind of makes sense that this thing is probably not as capable as maybe some other vehicles that I've customized recently. Hit the cyclist, get him, oh get him, oh hang on, wait a second, no, sorry, um, don't, don't mind the, don't mind the, um, hole in the back, it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, well if you guys want a drift car, the Nebula Turbo, I have to say, I am super, super impressed with this thing. As far as drifting in GTA goes, usually it's a pretty awful experience, but the Nebula Turbo actually makes it like solid, to be completely honest. Um, it's still not exactly like the easiest to drift, but it's a lot easier than most cars in this game, so that, that is saying something. Um, I think it's a great car. Uh, it's got lots of customization. I'm sure that probably if I didn't lower the suspension all the way down, maybe it wouldn't drift so much. Um, or maybe I'm wrong, but I would kind of assume that that's, you know, part of the reason that it does drift so well. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, the Nebula Turbo, I, I don't really know what else to say about it because it's not, it's definitely not going to win you any races. That's for sure. It's not a great, like, handling car, but it's a fun one for sure. If you like drifting, definitely the Nebula Turbo is a car for you. I would say that I recommend it while it's on sale, uh, but make sure you have enough money for the DLC because it is dropping next Tuesday, so that is going to be important um, that everybody, you know, has money for that and everything. So uh, pick up the Nebula Turbo if you got extra cash laying around, especially if you like drifting. If you don't like drifting, this car is probably, you can probably kind of forget about it. Um, but if you're looking to get into drifting or you like do currently drift, maybe the Nebula Turbo is a good car that you should pick up. Um, Anyway guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and review. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments down below. I think there are some more sale vehicles this week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I could, of course, do a customization on those. So we, we will see. Um, but anyway guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Hey, Ace.